Hey guys, just thought I'd clear this up real quick before this replay actually starts. I was casting some Korean games in succession, and so I did get some of the players confused. And the players in this game are not Juktu Jung or OGS the STC. It is actually the Blue Zerg as Czech Prime in the bottom position on uh, Scrap Station, and in the top position as the Red Terran, it is OGS in Snare. So once again, my apologies for the mix-up, but I thought I'd go ahead and clear that up. Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another HD broadcast and today we are going to be looking at a Zerg versus Protoss and the players are going to be Juk Tu Jung, which is the pronunciation of these Korean character symbols right here. So Juk Tu Jung is going to be these blue Zerg players spawning here on the bottom side of Scrap Station. I'll probably just call him Jung for short. And it is going to be OGS the STC playing as Red Terran. And of course, we have seen STC play against Tester before. And so this is going to be a very interesting matchup. Both the players obviously of Korean descent. Um, and so this is going to be, once again, Zerg versus Terran, and oh my goodness, right off the bat, we have uh, STC going for a barracks, a proxy barracks, right outside of the blue Zerg's base. This is a very risky, very bold build, and pretty much all in-ish, and of course, the drum that is scouting around has not seen this proxy barracks yet, and so right now, Juktu Jung has no idea that STC is building this barracks. His overlord is going to float up in here. But for all he's going to see, he's just going to see a fast gas. And this is going to throw off Jung just a little bit. And it's going to be interesting to see how he responds. At this point in the game, there should have been a barracks down already. And Jung is going to be well aware of that. So this is definitely setting off some kind of red alarm inside Jung's head. And of course, this SCV going to scout up into the Zerg base. And right now, you guys can see the Overlord from Jung has been positioned to go uh, float right across this barracks, which is right now building a tech lab obviously that gas going to be used for from for some very fast reapers right here and this is going to be extremely deadly first 50 gas being used the timing just so impeccable from the stc and he is um, he possibly could get the nitro packs upgrade as well but i would argue getting a second reaper out would be so much better right now let's see what junk's going to be able to do oh a bunker is going up inside the zerg base just positioned outside of the spawning pools uh area and if a reaper can hop inside this bunker the spawning pool will indeed go down uh, right now jung needs to throw down some spine crawlers and there goes the spine crawler right now the scv is coming in for uh for scc as well as an, a reaper right now the reaper is going to hop right inside the bunker i would i would imagine no the reaper is going to go straight for the spine crawlers first and pick them off the reapers just so do so much damage to these spine crawlers forcing the cancer right there as the zerglings pop out and then the reaper finally going to hop to the safety of this bunker and of course with the scv here it can repair the bunker as well all day long and i like what uh i like what scc is doing right here he's pulling his reaper out to get in range of the drones and harass the drones that are mining as well second reaper on the way pretty soon here ladies and gentlemen and this could be very deadly no we actually have nitro packs coming so jung is excuse me scc is getting nitro packs indeed and that is going to make the Reaper so much more mobile against the drones that are harvesting right now. The, spine, the spawning pool almost down right now at half HP. This is going to be so hard for Jung to stop. He needs to get a bunch of Zerglings out. What does he have on the production tab? He's actually getting a... What the heck? He's getting a hatchery inside the base of STC. What is he doing? The spawning pool has been destroyed. And why is the hatch? Why is there a hatchery building inside the Terran's base? I am completely confuzzled right now. I have no idea what's going on. The Reapers have those nitro packs. Those, those uh, flaming jet packs are just so much stronger right now. Those Reapers have that much more mobility. And for all STC knows right now, he thinks that he's got the advantage. He thinks there is no other building inside the Zerg base, but in reality there is a hatchery building in the nether regions of his own base and stc right here could be caught off guard but i just don't know what a hatchery could be used for perhaps spine crawlers but i just don't see how they'd be effective against mass reapers we'll keep our eye on for that second queen coming out right now two spine crawlers inside the base for jung and what is jung gonna be able to do he's pushing his spine crawlers forward trying to get rage of the bunker the bunker has been salvaged right now so 
I think SCC realizes he's done critical damage to the Zerg player. He doesn't even have a spawning pole. A new one's trying to be erected behind the Zerg base, which will be vulnerable to four Reapers right now. A lot of Reapers on the field. The hatchery has been morphed in. The creep is starting to spew out, and very soon it will approach the range of vision of SCC's base, and we'll see what he does when he finally sees that creep. This is going to be a very surprising, uh, annoying presence inside his base in the next couple of seconds. Drones being built as well, so there are going to be some spine crawlers built in base. Uh, Roach weren't attempting to go up for uh, Jung, and the Reapers are just kind of floating back and around the base. The Queens, thankfully, uh, it's warding off the Reapers from doing economic damage. Oh, nice transfusion on the second Queen when it was about to die, and these three Reapers are just wrecking havoc inside the drone line, forcing the drones to scramble away in terror and fear to the other side of the minerals. And oh, Marine gets taken out right there. Let's see what happens. Ooh, Spine Crawler starting to be built inside the Terran player's base. He sees the creep right now, and he is getting a bunker in base. He also has transitioned into a factory, straight into a starport. He needs to get Siege Tanks out right away, ladies and gentlemen, to hold off these Spine Crawlers. And with four Spine Crawlers, as well as a Queen, to transfuse, this could be a very deadly, very risky counterattack. This is so all in from each of these players. First, the the STC going for that proxy barracks and then somehow some way Jung deciding to go for a proxy hatchery inside the Terran base this is just absolutely bonkers right now the roaches are coming out and I just don't know how Jung's gonna be able to do this he's burrowing all three spine crawlers forward to get in range of that bunker I don't know if they are going to be in range the roach is trying to come around the backside and the spine crawlers are in range of the bunker oh my goodness this is just insane play from Jung getting his roaches behind the mineral line right now there is a banshee on the way from the production tab so he has decided to not get siege tanks to deal with the spine crawlers instead gonna go for banshee gonna get a cloak as well and all the buildings just getting ravaged by the tentacles from the spine crawlers the banshee finally gonna come out to ward away this insane play from both these players where are those oh my god the queens are just like in no man's land where are the reapers i, I i'm not even sure what happened to the reapers i guess uh, I guess Jump just kind of lost track of him, or excuse me, SCC lost track of him and just threw him away. Oh, there they are. The three Reapers coming back to the Terran base to help defend against these spine crawlers. 17 harvesters to 16, so both players relatively even in the economy. And it, I would argue the game's about to be just evened out right now. Oh, the Queens and Roaches pushing forward. A building gets destroyed. The SCVs starting to get attacked by the Roaches and Queens, and all the SCVs forced to run away. SCC here in a lot of trouble. What the counterattack of the sentry and the banshee is coming in to harass all the drones as well so both players taking huge hits the cloak is not quite there yet and the roaches and the queens are going to take out the tech lab before the cloak finishes and now scc is in a lot of trouble i think with this spore crawler going up oh gg calls not even call gg stc pretty much just leaves the game to jung what an epic battle indeed both these players fighting and striving for survival and just coming out with the kookiest and most insane builds uh to possibly imagine and somehow some way jung was able to hold on i guess take a lesson from that ladies and gentlemen if you get harassed by proxy reapers and you lose your spawning pool build a proxy hatchery and start building some spine crawlers in response the most ballsiest counterattack you could have ever think of and it somehow some way works so what an epic game indeed wow uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that broadcast and of course I did find this replay on StarcraftArena.net on the epic replay thread so if you guys have some epic replays make sure to go ahead and check it out and post your epic replays um, and I will try to broadcast them when I do have some free time so thanks a lot guys HD signing out